How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I wanted to just shoot a quick video on my initial thoughts on this new Meshtastic device that I picked up. Uh, so I recently got into uh, Meshtastic. It's kind of cool to play with. Um, I can see some use cases, you know, if you're out in the, the wilderness with no infrastructure, cell service, anything like that, or in an emergency situation when things go down, you know, if you've got some mesh devices that you can have between you and your family and your friends and so on and so forth, you can still keep, uh, you know, text communications and, and positioning and things like that available. And it's license free. If you don't know anything about Meshtastic, this video is not going to get into that. There's lots of videos about Meshtastic on YouTube. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about this device that I just picked up. Uh, this is brand new. And when I say brand new, I mean these are still kind of in pre-order. So this is a Muzzy Works. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, R1 Neo. So these just came out. Uh, this is a, a really sweet little Meshtastic device. Um, and I've been playing with it for the past couple days, and I'm really impressed. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about um, why I bought this particular device, and we'll talk about some of the specs and things like that. Like I said, this is not going to be a crazy deep dive or a complete review. This is just going to be a sort of a short overview, um, initial impressions kind of things. I've only had it a couple of days. Um, but I wanted a waterproof, rugged mesh node that I could strap to my pack that had decent range. There are other ones that are water resistant, um, you know, but they don't have real antennas. So you can see this has got an actual antenna on it, not a, it's not a little internal antenna and it's replaceable. It's an SMA, SMA male antenna. So like I've got a smiley antenna on the way for this. I will probably buy, and I don't know if I can make it fit with an adapter, I'll try, but a ZBM2 Meshtastic antenna. I actually bought a spare antenna with this as well from, um, the company. So I wanted one that had a real antenna on it because antenna is going to make all the difference on something like this. These are like one watt. So if you got one of those little stubby inefficient antennas, you know, that's, that's not great. And in the wilderness, I want something that's got a little bit of range. Um, you know, if I'm out with my wife and my daughter and whatnot, and we're in the woods, you know, I don't want to have to be super, super close to be able to use this thing. So I wanted one that was fairly rugged. Uh, this one is a carbon, what is it, PTFE, I forget. I have to, I'll have to look at the specs here in a minute. Uh, body, it is a machined aluminum base, USB-C. Uh, it is IP68, I believe, water and dust resistant. It's got stuff on it. I don't know where that came from. Um, you'll see that there are no, other than that USB port, there are no external ports or buttons or anything other than this singular button on top. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. You can see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's flashing. So that tells us that it's awake. Um, it's got a little hole. You can hang something from a lanyard or you can buy a little belt clip. This is how I plan on popping this. It's very, retention is very, very good. I'm going to strap that to the outside of my pack and carry it around. Now, um, one issue some, I've read some people have with this particular material is because it's got carbon fibers in it. Um, you know, it's kind of like people are afraid you're going to get itchy or, you know, it might cause irritation or eye issues if you get it in your eyes or, you know, things like that, or breathing the fibers and I, might not be good. My thing is I'm not going to be handling this that much. It's not like a, a walkie talkie where you're holding it out of all the time. This is going to get strapped on my pack. I'm never going to touch it because the interface isn't on the device. We'll talk about that in a minute. Some of them are, but this one is not. So let's talk real quick about the device. Um, I'm not going to actually bring you into the computer like I do sometimes. I'm just going to show you the website from the camera. So this is the, the device, the R1 Neo. Uh, they're 89 bucks. Um, you can get them in a number of different colors. So you can get black, which I've got. You can get green, blue, purple, or red. All the colors are kind of cool. Green sort of like an army green color. I don't know if it's going to change or not. It used to. There we go. There's blue. Purple, maybe. <laughs> the web browser is being kind of dumb. There's red. Uh, you can select whether you want US or you, uh, the EU or UK, right? So depending on where you are, you're going to use different frequencies. Um, like I said, this is these ju just launched. Now, it doesn't say pre-order anymore. It said pre-order down here. They must have finally put them into the full production now. Um, they're taking about a week to get. Um, but like I said, these are it's, uh, it's water resistant. Aircraft aluminum base, 3D printed PETG carbon fiber body. It's smaller than the original R1 by 16%. So if you saw the original R1, this is smaller. Built-in GPS with a power off switch, flexible whip antenna, good efficiency, multi-day battery life, battery temperature, safety sensing. It's all sealed with gaskets inside. 
it's a pretty sweet little device. Um, you know, it's got the latest uh, baseboards and things. It's got uh, GPS and BDS, onboard real-time clock, uh, build the built-in buzzer for message notifications. They make that sort of um, the same noise. that It's, it's kind of like the ringtone from 24. Uh, Two-hour fast charge. It's a 1,500 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it's USB-C. Uh, it comes with the device, with the antenna, uh, a cable, and a quick start guide. Uh, it's a sweet little device. It's got one singular button on top here. All right. It's very small. It's 58 by 63.5 by 17.8. Uh, or 2.3 inches by 2.5 inches by 0 0.7 inches, and it weighs 84 grams or 2.96 ounces. All right, so it's a really cool little device. And the way this thing works is, here's the quick start guide, and the buttons, long press for five seconds, shuts it down or turns it on. A double press on the button, boop, boop, sends the ad hoc ping so that if you want to send out your location. A triple press toggles the GPS on and off. Hold it, for, uh, hold it for eight seconds, that uh, enters DFU mode for doing firmware updates. And then the LED indicator tells you what it's doing. So white is mesh-tastic, red is charging, blue is you received a message, yellow is when you press the button, it shows you that you've had a button press, green is shut down and reboot, and pur purple is the programming mode. Um, so it's, it's a pretty simple little device. Like I said, there's not, there's not much going on with the device itself. It's a very simplistic device. It's just, it's just the device itself with, you know, like I said, detachable antenna and a singular button and a waterproof USB-C port. Um, so if you've never seen how this works, so here's, I'm on the Meshtastic app. So this is the device that I'm currently on right here. All right, and you can see these are all different nodes that I've heard. This one hasn't heard that many because I haven't really had it out of the house yet. Um, if I went into, for instance, my base station right here, you would see piles of nodes all over the place. I'm seeing nodes as far away as New York City and Buffalo, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, and I'm, this is not on MQTT, so I'm not through the internet or anything. Um, but most of, the, most of the nodes I see locally, you know, are going to be within 10 miles or less. Um, but if you go in here, you can see, you know, all the different information about the node, right, the location. I've got um, ambiguity on, so you can't see exactly where I am. Uh, you know, you've got your, your standard, it's Meshtastic. If you've used Meshtastic before, this should look familiar to you. Uh, but like I said, this is the device that I'm currently playing with. I think is going to be my, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. I think this is going to be my current um, sort of hiking mesh-tastic device. I've got, like I said, I've got a base station outside up on a, a, a mast and I've got a node in the house here that, that I use to, you know, transmit from the house out to the base station. I've got one in my truck. Uh, I've got this guy. I've got one of the little seed cards. Um, that I'll give to my wife if we're out in the woods or something. I might pick up a second one of these. So it's, we've got another one with a good antenna if we're way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but I just wanted to give you my initial impressions on this device because it is brand new. I mean, these are literally, as of today, I looked and there's not another video about the R1 Neo. There's R1 videos, but I didn't see any R1 Neo videos out. Um, so I just wanted to give you a first look at my initial impressions on this device. Uh, so we'll see how it works out over the course of the next year or so. Uh, but I'm hopefully, I'm Cautiously optimistic that this is kind of going to be my go-to device. It, it meets all my needs. It's, it's rugged. It's waterproof. It's simple. There's not, you know, one singular button. It's got replaceable antennas. You know, it, it's got a big battery in it. Uh, I've found that the reception on this is very good. The GPS lockup is very good. The Bluetooth range on this is very good. I did read on Reddit that the, uh, the guys from the company said that they spent some time engineering this case so that it got better things like Bluetooth reception. In fact, it gets better Bluetooth reception with the case on than with the case off. So, um, yeah, I just, so I, like I said, I just wanted to give you my initial impressions, tell you what I thought about the device, maybe give you a little bit of food for thought if you were thinking about, uh, you know, getting a, a more rugged mesh-tastic device for outdoors. You know, if you're hiking or something and you wanted a device you wanted to take with you that could maybe stand a little bit of knocking around or getting wet. And like I said, my plan is just to, whoop, throwing it on the ground here. My plan is to just stick it in the clip strap that to the compression strap or whatever on my backpack and leave it there and use the phone interface to, right, to, you know, message and stuff with. So if I wanted to message, you know, we can go in here and go into our long fast channel. I haven't messaged anybody on this device yet. So at any rate, everybody, like I said, I just wanted to give you a real quick look at the Muzzyworks uh, R1 Neo. So 
If you've got any questions about it, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I've only had it for a couple days, so I don't have a ton of experience with it, but so far I'm really impressed. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, as always, 73.